Tonight for an area daycare accused of mistreating children. Now another parent is coming forward saying Miniland daycare staff hit her son. Well, we first told you about these allegations last week at the daycare's Woodbridge location, but this time similar accusations, but from the Lorton location. Our Ken Molestina spoke to the upset mom tonight, and he is live with that story. Ken. Yeah, Derek, this mother that you're about to meet says it was right here at the Lorton Mini Land that she herself witnessed a child being thrown by staff members. She said she went ahead and reported what she witnessed and then what she found out immediately afterwards enraged her. I was horrified. I cried at work all day. Stella Stain tells us she had no idea her own two year old boy was allegedly mistreated by the same staff she claims to have witnessed throwing a different child. It all came to light when she tried reporting what she had seen. When the investigator was doing the investigation about what I witnessed, it came out, oh yeah, Bryce has been abused. But according to her, no one at Miniland told her anything about it. She only found out, she tells us, after searching a public database with Virginia Department of Social Services. I would have never known that my child was the kid that was mentioned on the Virginia Department of Social Services website. We tried asking many land administrators about these accusations in person. We're from Channel 9. We're doing a story on allegations that a child was mistreated. Here. I understand, but we have, we have something going on now. Okay, Thank can you. we talk to somebody here, please? Can somebody give us any answer, ma'am? But as you saw, an employee shut the door on us. These new allegations come just days after WUSA 9 first reported. Virginia's Department of Social Services had launched a separate investigation into the mini land in Woodbridge. Now, this upset mother is hoping to get the word out on what she describes as child abuse throughout mini land's daycare centers. For mini land wanted to brush everything under the rug so their parents wouldn't know. All right, now uh, we did go ahead and check uh, different state records out here in Virginia. Public records that say at least two of the employees here at Miniland were fired as a result of the investigation uh, that led to uh, all of these uh, sort of accusations to this news that we're now finding out about. As for this particular accusation uh, of uh, Miss Stain's uh, younger child, we're being told that right now Fairfax Police is working with the mother uh, and they're continuing to look into this to see if, in fact, uh, there are any criminal charges uh, that the staff here at Miniland could face. We're in Lorton. Tonight, Ken Moldestina, WUSA 9. Cautionary tale indeed. Thank you, Ken. And